In addition to looking at quality grade or yield grade, you might see some other terminology out there that refers to what we call branded beef programs. In reality, your brand is the steak that you serve to your customer. And you have put a whole host of specifications in place to make sure that that product has the ultimate eating satisfaction for that customer and that customer will return to your establishment time and time again. So we might talk a little bit about Angus programs. Angus programs means that those cattle have Angus heritage. And how that is determined is one of two ways. Either they have records on the animal that proves that that animal has Angus breeding. And Angus is a breed of cattle that we use in the industry. It's a fairly common breed of cattle. In fact, uh, you know, in reality, about 60% of all cattle would fit the uh, Angus heritage criteria by USDA if it was applied to them. So as you take a look at that, when you look at those factors, you can see a lot of cattle initially would maybe be determined as having Angus heritage. And how that's determined is one of two ways. The first way is what we call through genotype, and that means through the genetics of the animal, where we actually have records that traces that animal back to an Angus bull or an Angus cow or grandfather. Another way that you might look at it would be what we call phenotypic, which means how the animal looks. And predominantly, most animals that fit into any of these Angus programs would be animals that would be phenotypically determined to be Angus. And that is determined by whether the animal is 51% black hided and not, does not have any predominant dairy or Brahmin influence. And if it meets that criteria, that animal initially is determined as having Angus heritage and can be in those Angus programs. In addition to the Angus programs, there are a whole host of other brands, and you can look at brands in many different ways. There are brands that look at how the animal was raised, uh, what type of animal health products might have been used uh, during that animal's life. That might be another program. Uh, another program would be breed-related programs such as the Angus Heritage or Hereford or other Lim a Longhorn or Limousine. Many other breed associations would have a breed brand designation. In addition to that, there are some brands that look and, uh, at differentiating themselves because of what they did after the animal was harvested. Uh, whether that animal went through some sort of aging period or some other program. What, what we're trying to do with branded programs is, is put together a whole set of specifications, whether it's a live animal, whether it's the carcass, whether it's what they do after harvest, to try to differentiate your beef product with everybody else's beef product. So, as we look at brands, uh, don't be confused. The people are going to ask you if you're a wait staff or if you're in food service or whatever, you know, do you have this brand? Know that it's, it may not have a specific name. It is a, you have put together a set of specifications to try to maximize the eating satisfaction of those specific carcasses or that would relate down to actually the ends meat, the steak that you're serving to the customer.